sorry, fought off a lot of competition to sign you. Uh, with, there was more lucrative offers on the table from other teams. And what was the reason for you choosing to stay at Gainsborough and take a pay cut in the process? Uh, well, I, I have taken a pay cut. Um, I always wanted to stay. Um, I love the place, love the club, love the um, you know the new manager Terry. Everything about it's forward thinking now, and just want to get started and uh, make amends for the disappointment last season. Um, and obviously last season was a bit of uh, high and low for you. Um, looking back, what was your reflection on the season as a whole? Yeah, um, disappointed really. That was the uh, the main overriding feeling. Um, disappointment that you know we didn't really do as well as we could have done. And personally, I didn't do as well as you know I have been doing for the last seven uh, seven or eight years. Um, when I've been playing, you know, in this league and semi-professionally. Um, Dave's been really busy this week making the signings. Just yeah. want to know if you know any of these uh, new signings from previous spells or who are you most looking forward to play with? Um, I don't know. I don't know many of them. I know, I know Shane. Know of Shane Clark uh, from playing against him a few times. Um, then there's is it Jonathan Jonathan Wafulo? Wafulo? Yeah. Um, I don't know him. Uh, is it Ellis left back? Yeah. Ellis story. Yeah. That's um, but I don't know him. Obviously, the gaffer knows him. They've, uh, they've played lower down. Um, Shane's Shane's been at, at Lincoln at Gainsborough before. Tamworth and Boston. So he's had a, you know a decent non-league career. Um, yeah, I think the gaffer's getting some you know some young lads that have come from lower down. Um, and maybe you know got a point to prove and I think that's probably the better way to go about it rather than signing people that maybe just see it as you know a payday or something like that want to um, just get just get paid rather than rather than actually fighting for the shirt and fighting for the cause and stuff like that so um, I think he's I think he's got the right the right mix he's going for a bit of experience but mainly youth and younger lads that have got something to prove in the game. Uh, you're the club captain now for Gainsborough. How yep. do you feel knowing that you're the one that the players will look to for inspiration? Uh, and how do you feel about that added responsibility? Um, I felt like that anyway, if I'm honest. I feel like, you know, that's that's been my role whether I've been captain or not. Um, even when Don was here, uh, previous clubs I've been at, I've been in the game a long time. And uh, you know, done a lot, won a lot, been promoted a few times, and um, just I just feel like it's it's natural now. I'm I'm the oldest. I'm going to be the oldest in the team, and um, I feel like it's natural for you know for the lads to look up to me, and I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to setting a good example and hitting the ground running when we uh, get back. And do you feel it's changed you at all becoming the club captain? You know, you've got that senior role. Um, I don't think so. I've always been, I've always been quite loud, quite loud anyway. Um, quite loud and even when I was a young lad, it, it, I've always been the same. So being like that, it's. I don't think it, I don't think it's changed me too much. No. Um, could you tell me about your most memorable and favourite career moments today? Um, Winning the league with Chester, that was up there. Um, winning the FA Trophy with Ferriby. My first season at Ferriby was, you know, brilliant. Loved it. Um, scoring all the time, scored every other week, and that was really good. Um, the FA Cup run with uh, with Gainsborough, my first season, loved that. And then recently. You know, the goal against Altrincham uh, in the FA Cup last year ultimately didn't mean anything, but nice to score it. And then the two goals last season that um, did the job for us and kept us up. You know, that's it. Um, you were nominated for the uh, Marathon Vet Non League Challenge yeah, due yeah. to the special baby celebration. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did you feel about the whole competition? Do you feel like it was good exposure for you and the club? Yeah, good for the good for the club. Um, 
I was getting, you know, getting a lot of retweets and stuff from people on Twitter um, following me and stuff like that. But for the club, I, I feel it was good. Um, yeah, good for the club. Good exposure if we won. Um, would have been better for the club financially if we'd have won, like. Uh, and obviously the celebration was centred on the news that you're yeah. expecting your first child. Yeah. How far along is your wife? Uh, she's absolutely ready to pop. It'll be it'll be here in the next week. How are the preparations going? Yeah, good. Everything's ready to go. Um, yeah. You feel any, uh, any nerves? Any pressure? No, I'm uh, I'm not. Not pressure. I'm I'm a little bit apprehensive. Obviously, it's the first time I'm going to uh, be a dad. Um, I'm more apprehensive, more worried for my wife. Just to make sure she's all right. Um, but yeah, with regards to being prepared for uh, for a son, everything's ready. The house is ready. We've got you know stair gates everywhere and stop my dogs going everywhere in the house now. So yeah, everything's ready to go. Any ideas for any names yet? You yeah, suppose? we'll. Um, We'll, uh, to be fair, most people know, but we'll, when he's here, we'll let everyone know. Actually, um, we've got a lovely, lovely present off the uh, chairman and his wife. Mr. and Mrs. Chairman sent me a lovely, uh, lovely nursing chair. Well, I'll say I've got a lovely present. It's a present for Sam uh, rather than me. But yeah, so thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Mrs. Chairman. <laughs> awesome work. Um, just to sort of cap off, what are your personal aims for both yourself and the team next season? And also, could you describe to me your relationship with Dave Feckington? Um, the team aims. I, we haven't really spoke about that, but I think with what's going on um, in the league, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough league. Uh, I think our budget's it's going to be bottom four, bottom five in the league looking at it and um, I think anywhere mid-table is a good season if we get on a good run look towards the playoffs I keep looking at um, the new there's a new format uh, maybe happening where seventh and you know we're not going to be a million miles away from higher higher mid-table hopefully and uh, you know if we have a good season everyone gets you know kick-started gets flying we'll uh, be looking at them playoff spots but first things first we need to get a good team team bonding uh, team cohesion get everyone together get us flying and have a good start and I think that'll uh, set us right up for um, for a good season and uh, what about the relationship with Dave Frankenton uh, I'd say it's good you know I'd, he's done well wherever he's been um, he had a good chat with me uh, at the end of the season uh, and when he came in, you know, he said, look, when he first came in, he said, look, you're going to be who we come, who we go to, you're going to be playing every game. And obviously I got a little bit um, maddy. <laughs> I wasn't playing for the, I, I didn't play for three or four games. Um, and after that, he, he come to me and he said, look, it's a clean slate, we need you. Um, we need you fit and we need you firing. And after that, you know, I think, I think he got me um, for the last four or five games of the season when we needed it. And um, yeah, thankfully we stayed up and scored a couple of goals and now we're looking forward to next season. Brilliant, thanks Nathan. Ah, cool. What's the music on Josh? We have a single on, mate. What the most we have? What do you listen to? Yeah, Drake. Yeah, you like Drake? Yeah, yeah, I like see him in Manchester. Uh, get my, uh, I'm a I'm a man. 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 Oh, yeah, Drake opened with that in Manchester, it was like amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Like the fireworks and everything. Nice! Yeah! Sing it then, Josh. I don't, I don't even hear the words, I just like the beat. It's a storm, is it? Yeah! See you later.